what's good youtube and today well this week i should say i'm doing some tier lists every day of the week it's gonna be different class like today's monday it's mutant day uh tuesday skill day and so on and so forth but yeah as you can tell by the title this is my opinion on who i think when it comes to the mutant class who has the best animations overall in the game now, this is not a tier list of who's the best mutant in the game, so don't confuse it with that at all. This is strictly just animation-based. So, with that being said, I'm going to get started. Before I get to my personal opinion of my top five... Oh, yeah, also, this is just my opinion. This is not all... Oh, yeah, he's... Everything Joe says, you know. Nah, it's not that. But, uh, yeah. Before we get into the top five, I'm going to... Men do uh, three honorable mentions. The first one I want to talk about. Let me see if I find him. Did I pass? Oh, yeah, I passed him. I think. The first one I want to talk about is uh, Havoc. The only reason why he didn't go into my top five. He's, I like his specials, the animations for his specials, but his basic attacks are. They seem regular to me. Besides his medium, he does that little thing. But, like, overall, his, his basic attacks are just basic, you know. But his special attacks are really cool. Like, they got really good animations. They're done good in that. But I'm, I'm looking at the overall package for each champ, animation-wise. So, yeah, he's an honorable mission for me. Another one would be Psylocke. As much as I love using her. Same thing with Havoc, her basic attacks. I mean, she's got the sword animations, which is cool. I love her SP3. To me, it's top 10 for sure. Maybe top 5 of my special... I mean, of my favorite special 3s overall in the game. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a separate tier list for that, like a top 10 or something. I don't know yet. But yeah. But her basic attacks, yeah, they're... Just, she don't really, I mean, they're just her swinging her sword and whatnot. It's cool, don't get me wrong. I like her animation. I like her play style and whatnot. But, like, I'm looking at the, like I said, I'm looking at the overall package. And then the third and final honorable mention I want to talk about is Storm Pyramid X. She's got some really great animations for her specials. Her heavy attack when you hold it, that's really nice as well like that but her her basic attacks they're not basic but they didn't really do enough for me to put her in my top five like they're still good don't get me wrong but i need more than that if i'm talking about animation wise but yeah with that being said let's get straight into the top five starting with number five number five even to this day i forgot when he came out would be nightcrawler He's got some of the best animations in the game still to this day. Especially when you dash back, he teleports. That's really cool. I think there's only one other champion that could teleport when you dash back, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Well, I'm not talking about phasing that goes. I'm talking about like strictly teleportation. And yeah. Special attacks, his special one's really cool. You know, he does his little sword swing. Or he, tele I forgot the order of it, but, like, he teleports and he does his sword swing thing towards you. Special two, something close to that. His special three is really good, where he teleports a bunch of times. But, yeah, the reason why he made my top five in the number five spot is mainly because of his, uh, his teleportation when you dash back. You can do as many times as you want. It's got a really awesome animation to that. But, yeah, he's number five. Number four, believe it or not, is Mr. Sinister. This man got some really great animations. Especially when you attack into him, he's got like this purple, I want to say mist or energy going on. And then when you hold his heavy attack, if you guys ever notice that, he like he got his hands spread out and then he's got the same purple aura thing going on. Like he's about to unleash a powerful attack. And his SP1, he like he does this red wave thing that comes at you. I don't know what to call it really. Like some kind of energy attack. That's really awesome. I really, that's one of my favorite SP1s in the game. His SP2, he does like a he shoots a it looks like a powerful beam that's about to take you out. 
Obviously, he doesn't do that in the game, but just based on how it looks, he shoots at you. And then, yeah. And then SP3, same thing. Like, he looks at his opponent in the eyes before he launches his, throws him up in the air. And right before they hit the ground, he launches his powerful beam. I say powerful because it looks powerful. You know, it looks like it should be doing a lot of damage. But yeah, this is my fourth overall best mutant animation in the game, in my opinion. Uh, number three, for me personally, it would be Namor. I almost put Sinister in the spot, but looking at Namor's animations again, like his basic attacks, he's got these water effects going on, like whatever he's moving back and forth and then him attacking to his opponent. His SP1 and SP2 do the same thing. Like water, like it's got like mist, like some kind of water thing going on. I don't, really, I don't know what to really call it. But yeah, and then he's got his staff, which is really cool. And his heavy attacks are really cool as well. His special three, though, is the reason why he's number three. That that special three carried him to number three because if, you, if you've seen it before, which I'm pretty sure most of you have, he goes under the ocean. Like, he takes his opponent to the ocean and he has these electric eels with him. He's under the ocean and he points his staff at him or trident or whatever thing, he, his weapon he has with him. And then the electric eels come uh, attack his opponent. It's pretty cool. Like, it's one of my favorite special threes in the game. That's That's the main reason why he's number three in here. Now, the next, uh, I guess this is debatable depending who you ask, but for me personally, the number two best animation overall, in my opinion, for mutants would have to be Apocalypse. Now, I know some of you guys are crazy, probably thinking like, why isn't he number one? He's got that really awesome SP1 and SP2, and he does. Don't get me wrong. And his SP3 is really great as well. Oh, and his heavy attack does his, his arm transforms into, like, this gun or whatever he has. I love his SP1. It might be my favorite SP1 in the game, honestly. He's got the big old, shooting the big old blue, uh, giant blue beam at somebody. His SP2, again, he shoots, like, three balls of energy at somebody, and then he does, like, a three-hit attack after that. His SP3 is, is, is awesome. It's great. It, it transforms him into, like, some... Uh, he turns really giant. And then... He basically just stomps on his opponent. But, yeah. I love this dude's all animations. He's a beast at rank 3. He's a 6-star. If you don't have him as rank 3, 6-star already, you better get to it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. This man's animations. And then... It's... Which is why I got him in the number two spot. Mainly his SP1 and SP2 animations. He's like some of the best animations overall in the game. And then my number one overall spot has to go to Professor X. And there's a reason why. The only reason why I didn't put Apocalypse here is because of the SP3. Which I'll get into in a little bit. But his SP1, he shoots. like he sees. I think they're like hands or something that come off the ground. And then he shoots like this one arrow thing at him as opponent his heavy attack you know he holds down his heavy he, he starts glowing i think he floats as well like when you hold the heavy like, like he's, he's doing his little mind thing his sp2 he's got these energy arrow things or something like that i think he shoots like three of them i love that the reason why he's number one in my opinion is his sp3 He's got Archangel wings. I'm just saying Archangel wings. I don't know if that's what it is actually. It probably is. I don't know. He's got uh, Cyclops's uh, beam from his head. Like he shoots at him. He's got a bunch of different X Men uh, attacks in his SV3. And also, when he first enters the fight, he does like this animation. And then the background of the entire fight, you're like in this. Aura, like, I don't know what to call it. Like, you're in this little uh, area that he, I guess he put, like, a barrier around. That that plus the SP3 is why he's number one, in my opinion. Like, he's he's got, in my opinion, he's got the best mutant animations in the game. But, yeah, this is my tier list for best mutant animations in the game as of right now. This uh, For uh, 
September 2021. I might do another one in the future when more champs get added. If it, if I feel like a certain champ should be in the top five for me. Yeah, but yeah, like I said, this is just my uh, opinion. If you guys disagree with me, I would love to know your guys' opinions and whatnot. Write it down in the comment section below and let me know because... I'm very curious to see what people have to say when it comes to animation-wise. Again, this is not who's better than who. Because if it is, some of these champs will not be in the top five. Like, I'll have a different tier list. But, yeah, this is strictly animation-wise. But if you guys agree with this list or if you just like the video in general, even if you do disagree, smash that like button below. Subscribe if you're new. And uh, tomorrow, I will be doing one well for skill champs. Best animations in the game, in my opinion. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video stream. Until next time, everybody.